okay let's just switch to the header i will switch to the header branch and i'll add a new header.html page okay now i open this header.html and i add some code header and okay let's just finish that i'll go for navigation let's just keep it simple like that because the goal is not learning the html here it's just the goal is just learning get okay now if i just hit get stables you will see that i have a header.html ready is interact ready to be staged and i need to commit the changes but what if i decide that i need to work on something else instead of header but i want to save this staged this interacted file, files or i want to just save this uncommitted files so for that there is a command for that from from git you just need to use git stash then hit enter but the problem is before using this git stash you need to stage the files so for that you just need to use add to add the files into the staged array now if i just hit again git stash you will say you will see here i save the work in the directory and index okay the header is just returned to the initial value or to the initial position what i mean by that now if we just return for just list the files you will not find that the header .html is created but i created here and i add some code on it what i do when, when i'm using git stash is just i'm saving the uncommitted files for later now i can create a new i can create a new branch okay i will go for a sidebar and i'll add now i'm switching the sidebar if you see here and if we want to be sure let's just use guest branch you will see that's asterisk right here and i'm using green right here it's just telling me that sidebar is a selected branch now i can create a new if i list the files there is no head of the html i just need to add a new file okay i will go for sidebar dot i just need to add a sidebar of the html okay now if i open the sidebar of the html i will add a tag let's go for a side side save that now i'm working on the sidebar not the header now I open the CSS. Let's just add sidebar as an example, CSS. And I'll go for a side. Background red. Cool. Now what I'm doing here is I'm creating working on the sidebar. So I decide that I finished the sidebar and let's just add that. Stage the, stage the files, then commit the changes. Commit, add, add sidebar because i decide that i need to finish first the sidebar then i can move to the header but the problem was that i already stopped on i was on the middle of working on the header but i can't stop working on that this is why i use git stash i use git stash to just save the uncommitted files now if i just move to the header i don't and i want to bring back the head of the html that i don't save for that i can just use git stash apply sorry apply not apply now as you see here i have a new file head of the html here i don't have it now if i just list the files you will see that i have this head of the html and if i open the head of the html you will see that i have the code right again so i bring back again the uncommitted changes and i can work on the header and do whatever i want so this is just a great way if you are in the middle of working on something then you need to move to another branch and finish a work if it is a bug that it needs to be corrected or something like that or there is a feature that you need to work and because this is the first thing this is the primary thing that you need to work on and this is why git stash will be a great it will be very handful that helps you to just save the uncommitted so the the uncommitted changes for later then you can return to the branch and finish the work